We're back with The Good Dish. This is our kitchen, and we love sharing meals with you here. We might be trained chefs, but we're also moms trying to get our families fed. Here's a look at what our lives look like cooking at home. Hey, it's breakfast time. Come on in. And bring coffee. What are we having today for breakfast? This is Gigi, she's the baby, she's two. And then we and I go over to my mom. It was yard, I am six years old. And this is Nika, and she's four. That's my pancakes. Good job, you're making it perfect. Look, ooh. Quick cooking rolled oats, just a little handful. Okay, no eating the chocolate. We're gonna put it in the pancake batter, okay? Good work, Philo, you're doing such a nice job. Thank you. I, baby, you can't do this part. This is the mommy part. Mm, this smells great. <laughs> Ooh. You have to congratulations the chefs. Mm. This maple syrup tastes amazing. Nice work, everybody. Let me know if you need more syrup. That's breakfast time, guys. That's just one little moment of crazy. Come on in, it's lunchtime. All right, who do we have here? Sasha. Sasha and Stella. Stella, say hi. What are we making? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. I need you to squish these up with your hands and try not to make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I like squishing. Okay, spaghetti's almost done. Now, cooking in this house can get a little chaotic. And we, yes, and we've got some picky eaters in this house. Yep. Uh-huh, yes, yeah, she only eats spaghetti most of the time, so we eat spaghetti about five nights a week. And Miss Stella over there, she eats it all. Spaghetti's ready. Daddy! <laughs> Dig in. Yeah, because Stella's eating it all. Look at Stella. <laughs> How does it taste? Excellent. Yay! Nice work, ladies. All right, and I'm not touching your hand. Look at you, you're a mess. <laughs> hey, welcome to Brooklyn. You're just in time for dinner. Come on in. This is my family. This is Jeremy. This is Dahlia. She's eight. And this is Cole. Cole, how old are you? Three and a half. He's three and a half. Let's go in the kitchen. So this is my happy place. This is the place I stand many, many hours of every day cooking, playing with my family. It's a great vantage point in my very open concept house. Tonight for dinner, we're having my family's favorite lentil and chickpea soup. It's simple, it's hearty, and it's really delicious. Mommy, can I help you? I would love you to help me. Do you want to give that a stir? Can I take the garlic from you, please, sir? I find the more I cook with my kids, the more they want to eat it because they're invested in it and they're proud of their hard work and they understand the process okay. of cooking. Okay. So that's why they're the best eaters in the world. <laughs> this part of the day is always a little chaotic, but it's also a great moment for everyone to be together, talk about our day, and enjoy each other's company. Cheers! <laughs> I mean, that was fun. I, I have to say, I love the fact that breakfast in your house really felt like a party. Yes. It's, it should be. It's uh, pancakes. Hello. Got to make it a party. Um, yeah, no, you know, I do. It makes me so happy. It's not every day that my kids want to get in the kitchen and help. Sometimes they do, sometimes they it don't. It looks like they do. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's so beautiful, though, when they do, they get in there and they have fun and they know it's okay to, like, make a mess. And sometimes it goes a little awry and sometimes mommy forgets the pancakes are on, they burn and they have to wait for another batch. <laughs> like, it's, it actually, it reminds me so much of how I grew up, that love that was always present in the kitchen and seeing my mom cook and, and having that sort of like intuitive feeling about food and, and not being afraid of your food. That's all I ever could. Yeah. People ask me about picky eaters all the time. And look, kids are themselves. Some, some of them come out not really liking a ton of different foods, but the best thing I've ever been able to do for my kids is lead by example, have them have fun in the kitchen with me, want to be in there with me, um, make a lot of cookies and, and cakes <laughs> and things that always tempts them in there, but also to make them feel like not being afraid of 
food is a big kid thing to do. Mm -hmm. That 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 like choice that they have and that fun that they can have is a is a very um it's it's just it's something that they can show how adults it's they empowering. Are. Yeah. It's very empowering. You exactly always right. keep your cool in the kitchen. I do it's not like, always keep my cool no. in the you kitchen. Look like it. They edited me. Like that's <laughs> no, my it's chaotic. Like, they're so loud and there's flour everywhere. It. Like you, it's just like you still are in control of everything, which I, is I, what I admire about you. Thank you. Now you know I have to tell you, Sasha and I are in the same wavelength. Does she eat pasta <laughs> every day for lunch? Every spaghetti single day. Spaghetti I specifically. So I'm like, I don't even have to ask. What are we eating? Spaghetti. Every day, and but she she won't break that. I mean, it's convenient for me. I just make pounds of spaghetti. And I, I do love spaghetti if I had to. Choose but I mean, shape. she's picky, and I just I gotta love her for that. I'm like, your mother is a chef, you yes, know. I is. could dabble and do a few things, but it's like spaghetti. I'm good. She That's wants it to be easy. And then now you, ma'am. Oh with yeah. Your little mini me. Chaos. I mean, See, it's mini, like yeah, for sure. You I all mean, can pick up on each other's cues and just like I love the way you all are in the kitchen. Well, I mean, yes, there is no denying that she is mine. <laughs> We're not sure if she's my husband's, but we know she's mine. <laughs> no DNA oh, testing. No, yes, no, they both are ours for sure, <laughs> through and through. But it's funny we play this game, and she did it perfectly when we were making dinner. Um, where sometimes to sort of just like tease each other, we try to finish each other's sentences. And she's really good at like just going right into what I'm gonna say and picking it right up. I think it's a hilarious. Isn't eight kind of a fun age? Philomena, my oldest yeah. is seven. Oh, oh, she'll be eight in February. And it's like, they're little adults. They're their oh, little yeah. companion. They're always there and they're, you can play games with them. Mm -hmm. And yes. they, at every age, they shock you. They really just like blow your mind with what they come out with, but- um, To get the joke. But they, they get, get it. the joke, get it. exactly. It's yeah. the humor that really- I love, it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well, that was so fun to get a peek into our home lives. Our I just- crazy kitchens. So fun, <laughs> always a crazy kitchen. When we come back, the best way to get all the best recipes and how-to videos sent right to your phone.